Friends and family, greetings, greetings, greetings. How are you today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And here we are. I am approximately 20 days post-op from my permanent implant of my spinal cord stimulator. Okay, so real quick, I can see a huge difference in the decrease in pain. Yesterday was really cold, so I was aching from arthritis. So today I've had a better day because it wasn't freezing outside. You know, I'm pretty sure y'all relate to that. But you know, I had a really good night rest last night. I wasn't tossing or turning or anything. Uh, I had my stimulation run. I think I was at um, 18 point something. But um, it was pretty good stimulation therapy. But um, right now, I'm pretty sure you guys are more interested in how I'm doing. So this is the drill. I haven't yet gotten up to start my uh, rounds with uh, finishing up the laundry. You know, yesterday uh, did enlist the help of wifey because I magically forgotten that I washed clothes. So I didn't get to go down and get to sit in my handy dandy chair to load up the um, dryer with the clothes and hang up the clothes that needed to be hung. But, you know, I was able to take my trash can to the curb, pain free. Um, it wasn't like really heavy or anything. Um, it's kind of light. All the squirrels have toted away all the hickory nuts in my driveway. Um, and not only that, uh, when it comes to bending, guys, you know, I haven't talked about this a whole lot. Let's talk about range of motion, okay? So I do feel like I did lose a little bit more range of motion because I said in a previous video that uh, I had an FCE when I had got injured initially and they gave me a 10% whole body impairment, okay? So now that I've had a second laminectomy and it is up higher toward midways in my back, so I now have two different sites in my back, okay? So imagine having this uh, limitation or impairment here and then a second impairment there. So I'm pretty sure my impairment rating have greatly increased. Um, since having my surgery, I've been unable to touch my toes. So I've always been wearing shoes like slides or shoes that I can easily slip my feet into and don't have to necessarily tie my shoe strings, you know. Um, Putting on socks is still a challenge. I guess it depends on how bad I'm hurting. If I'm hurting really bad, you know, um, I struggle to take me quite a moment to get some socks on, you know. Um, let's see, twisting is still uncomfortable. Uh, lifting things that are entirely too heavy, what I try to do is I try to take my foot and I nudge it if it moves. It's kind of light. Then I'll try to do a little lift test to see if I can lift it. If it is not too heavy, I would then ask for help. I tried to bring up a um, basket of clothes that was full just to test to see my limitations because I actually had the basket like in that chair. So it wasn't like I was picking it up off the floor. I brought it up. I was burning in my back. Okay. So that's still not a good idea to be lifting laundry. Okay. So if you're going to do that, just make sure you have a manageable load to where it is like light. And it doesn't like really, uh, what is she doing over there? Oh, you little fruit bat, you scared me. Huh? I'm talking about my dog. She's over there. She was doing this little weird thing in the floor, but she's sunbathing. Anyways, I got way off track. But as I was saying, guys, you know, if you're going to lift something, make sure you do it in small increments so you're not overdoing things, you know, um, Sometimes when I go into the bathroom and I need to wash my hands or something, you know, um, I still feel like a little sore, stretching, burning sensation in this top scar up top. Um, brushing my teeth uh, when I go to, you know, rinse and spit. I still feel that. Going to the restroom, I know that's a little touchy topic, but, you know, some of you might be like too, too much information, but if you're going to have this procedure, then this should be some information you need because you might need to get yourself ready for it. But using a restroom can be painful sometimes as far as like the pushing or the aftercare part. You catch my drift, but you know that twist, that kind of, you know, feels really, really weird. When I drive my vehicle, um, I'm able to drive with my program running. I still have my pillow um, behind my back and it kind of helps um, serve as a cushion to keep 
so much pressure off my scar. I'm going to try driving without it to see how well I respond to it. Uh, the implant site. You know, it still seems to be a bit tender because depending on how I sit, if I sit on soft surfaces, like I'm sitting here and kind of push everything upward, you know, and it kind of feels uncomfortable. Kind of hurt a little bit too, you know, but I guess it'll work itself out in time. You know, I don't have a whole lot of skin back there. So, you know, you can actually see it under my skin. So, um, what else? Ooh. Okay, so um, we talked about lifting, talked about um, doing regular chores and self-care. As you can see, guys, I have not been able to shave my face and cut my hair. I gave my son a haircut, a uh, quick buzz cut, but after a while, you know, I started to feel it, like, with the reaching. Also, the soreness in the sides. The more active you are, the more you reach for things like stuff like reaching across the table um, for anything. You know, if you keep doing that over and over and over and over and over, you're going to feel it because, you know, it's working those muscles down there. And those muscles, they do um, cross paths with the, the muscles that is tied to the scar. So eventually you will feel that discomfort. So when you are sitting or moving, you make sure you maintain good posture. Make sure you try to condition yourself to stand straight upright okay because you'll find more relief that way because if you kind of slouch you you actually feel that too and also having a straight posture in your back it kind of helped bring the um intensity of your therapy regimen up too it, it kind of feels good to be honest with you um I haven't had to get with my reps to be reprogramming or anything, so I'm assuming the next time I see those guys would be six months maybe, and then after that it'll be a year, and then every three years after that. So um, I haven't heard much from my reps, but I do have really good reps. When I do need them, you know, they will respond and tell me what I need to do, or if um, I need help with something, you know, they encourage me to reach out to my doctors or the surgeon's office, etc. Um, what else can I talk about? Um, also helped my wife with the tree. We had an issue where she broke our tree and the leg had broke on it and the tree fell like timber. So um, I had to take that little broken down tree apart and um, she assembled the new tree. And <clears throat> she also helped me take the old tree, portions of the old tree might I add out because we broke it down in sections. She toted the box with the bulk of it and I was able to get the little lighter stuff in a small trash bag. I was able to tote that, you know, and um, I didn't feel any pain, but I did feel some pulling, okay? Um, resting. Every now and then, I would have to go and lay down still. I guess it depends on how much I work myself, but this is what I wanna do. For recess, I wanna be able to take my kids to the little walking park up the street so we can uh, walk around the park. But with the way things are today, I think that's gonna be a bad idea because you know them, they're going on a swing and all these hands have touched those items and uh, I don't want them to do that. If they come with me, I want them to kind of walk with me, all right? But um, <clears throat> other than that, everything's all well and good. Hello, son, can I help you? Can I help you? Okay, you can hug me after this shoot, I'm almost done. All right, yeah, that's my son, that's old Junior, love his daddy, always asking, how's my back? You know, when I had my um, surgery, my wife tricked him and told him it was gonna keep me, and she said he was gonna cry, I broke down and started crying, I just don't want him to stay with my daddy. Real good boy. But anyways, guys, I'm um, nearing that nine minute mark. You know, you guys have uh, been doing a really good job with uh, watching the videos. You know, I do a thank you all for your questions, uh, for your remarks and your concerns. Uh, also, uh, there's a, a, a gentleman that I've been watching on here. Uh, when I first had my trial, I was on here just like a lot of you guys who have been asking questions in my comments. He go by the name of DJ Porkchop. You might see him on the previous video that I released on yesterday. Um, he have also had a spinal cord stimulator and he has had it in his body for a long time. He uh, also gives out good information. So make your way over to his page and subscribe to his page um, so you can get some information from him, you know, because me and him, we're like two different case scenarios, you know, in his stages, he had a different, um, 
he had a different experience. My experience was much different. You know, I'm not sure how many surgeries have he had. I've only had one surgery and some epidural shots or whatever, but you know, like I say, different strokes from different folks. So you can get a little inkless air information from me and you can also get <clears throat> inkless information from him. All right. Um, also, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. So when I do release another video, you guys can uh, catch it when it um, posts. And um, feel free to ask any questions in the comment box down below, should you have any. Um, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Most cases, I will respond within the same day. Um, but I guess that's all I have for you all today. You know, just make sure you continue to follow the orders of your doctor. If you feel like you're able to do more, try it in little increments to where you kind of work yourself up to it. Don't overwork yourself. Don't do something that's going to hurt you in the long run, okay? All right? Because after all, you do have a foreign object in your body. All right? There's still a likelihood of lead migration if you overdo it, you know? But everything else is just water under the bridge right now. But, you know, until we meet again, guys, I do thank you all so much for dropping by. Just make sure you stay safe, stay blessed, and you have a productive day. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Peace.